Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a monthly tasks video. This took me the entire month to film. You will notice that I'm wearing all different sorts of outfits in each clip because these are the things that I do once a month, the things as in the chores that I do once a month. So I will be out soon with a weekly tasks video and also the daily cleaning video, the things I get done daily, the things I get done weekly. But this is the things that I do once a month. And basically what I do is I have my calendar here and each month, the first of the month, I write down, I fill out my calendar. So I write down all the things that need to be done I don't really write the daily ones down, but I write the weekly ones down. I write the monthly ones down. I kind of spread them all out throughout the month. There's 15 monthly tasks that I do and they just get spread out throughout the month. So I'm not doing them all in one day. And then by the end of the month, all of those things have been done once. So hence the monthly task name. Um, so like I said, this has taken me the entire month to film because I just basically brought the camera out whenever I was doing the actual task. I didn't want to like stage me cleaning. I wanted to actually do it when I was cleaning it. So I've been working on this for the entire month. It is a month long video that I've been trying to get out to you guys. So I hope that you enjoy it. Like I said, I'll be doing my weekly tasks. There's things I only do once a week and then obviously the things that we do once a day. Um, I hope that you guys can get some ideas because I know it's hard when you're cleaning to like try to remember like, oh, when's the last time I cleaned the baseboards or something like that. So I really encourage you guys to make a weekly task video, not a video. I really encourage you guys to make weekly tasks lists and monthly task lists and kind of just um, plan them. That way you can get it off your brain, you know, that's on your calendar and you know that you won't forget it because you've written it down. So anyways, I hope that you guys get some inspiration, some motivation and some ideas for your monthly tasks. And also I would love to hear in the comments anything that you guys clean once a month that I did not clean. It may be in my weekly tasks video or it may be something that I totally forgot to clean. So things like, I can already name a few that I probably, you guys will probably say like, um, cleaning out the refrigerator, that's something that I could definitely put on the monthly tasks, but I basically just do that on demand. Like I could kind, kind of tell when the refrigerator is needing like a good clean out, that kind of thing. Just let me know down in the comments if I'm missing something. I would love to hear your thoughts. But if you guys are new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. We do a lot of cleaning over here, lots of cleaning motivation for you guys. And I would love to have you join my little family over here. All right, let's get started with all of the monthly tasks I do. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? So these are in no particular order at all, but the first one I am doing is cleaning the microwave. And basically I clean it from the outside in really, really good. And I basically just use Clorox wipes. And sometimes I take out the tray and put it in the dishwasher. Um, just depends on how dirty it is. Obviously a lot of these monthly tasks can be done multiple times in the month. Like if something explodes in the microwave, I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll just wait until um, two more weeks when I go to clean it. Um, I'll give it a good wipe down, but this is like a deep clean of the microwave. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? Cleaning out the trash cans. Basically, I take out the trash bag and I wipe down the entire trash can. Things can get spilled, even with the bag in there. Um, kids throw stuff in there when the bag's not in there and it just gets messy. So basically, I just clean out the kitchen one and then all of the bathroom trash cans get cleaned out once a week when I clean the bathrooms. I used to do them once a month as well, but they were getting too full. So I do those once a week and then this trash can I do once a month. And then sometimes I even rinse out the trash can that goes to the road, like the big trash can that holds all of the trash. I don't do that every month, but if it's getting nasty, I'll just rinse it out with some soap. Then cleaning the washing machine and the dryer. Sorry, I couldn't think of the names of them. Um, so this is really simple. I just wipe it down with Clorox wipes on the top. It 
tends to get like dusty and dirty and things get splattered on it and then I clean inside a little bit and then for the dryer you can see I have a bunch of stuff on top so I like to organize those things on top figure out where they need to go this is like my collection area where I keep a bunch of things that I need to give back to people who's left stuff at our house and then I clean that off and then inside I clean all of the lint I do that whenever I do the laundry but I do like a big clean out here I'm just using Clorox wipes to clean it off but sometimes I even get the vacuum out and use like the little attachment to the vacuum and really get in there and get all of the lint out I think this is the quickest monthly task that I have, but it is just to dust the fans. About once a month they need a really good dusting, and it's quick because we only have three fans in our house. I wish we had more fans because I actually like fans, but we just have three, so just dust them off real quick. I've showed this a few times, but this is our dishwasher, and I like to clean it out once a month. And I just pour white vinegar into a little container, put it on the top rack, and run the load. And it just cleans it out, gets any smells out, and makes it nice and fresh. So this is another task that sometimes I have to do more than once a month just depending on how dirty the stairs get but since we have carpeted stairs about once a month I will vacuum so I'm using my handheld Dyson I don't know if you can see but I go up first with the regular attachment and then I come back down with the hose looking attachment and get like in the corners and the creases. So this task was kind of hard to film, but our garage was a disaster. So once a month, I clean out the garage and basically I just organize the garage because the kids' bikes and their toys get everywhere. You can see this is our little shoe area and it was a total disaster. It was even more of a disaster because I was changing out winter shoes with summer shoes and so I was putting away some winter shoes into that basket that you see and then taking the summer shoes out of the basket and putting them into the basket in the garage. So I was cleaning that and then basically I just um, sweep or use the leaf blower to clean off the garage floor and just get the garage looking nice because sometimes you can see the kids uh, truck right there that we can't even get in and out of the house sometimes because the garage gets so dirty. I've mentioned this task before and I've gotten a lot of nasty comments, but once a month I clean out River, who is our dog's bowls, and I put them in the dishwasher. 
Um, I do rinse out his bowls more than just once a month, but as you can see, I am scrubbing it with soap and getting it really, really clean and then putting it into the dishwasher. So what I do throughout the weeks is when it starts to get nasty or when I'm putting in new water, I'll just give it a really good rinse out. But like I said, once a month it gets like a really good deep clean. So no nasty comments, please. So the next one is to wipe down the fronts of uh, doors and cabinets. This one takes a very long time and sometimes I do a few shortcuts. The kitchen needs it the most because like I said with food and the kids hands and stickiness and everything the cabinets can get very dirty so I just take Clorox wipes or sometimes I'll take like a multi-purpose spray and a, and a towel and I just wipe down the knobs and all of the cabinets on the top and the bottom. And then for doors, I go around, again, with little kids' fingers, the bottoms of the doors get really nasty with either dirt or sticky lollipop stuff or the knobs get all nasty. And then also in the creases of the doors um, can collect a lot of dust, so I wipe those down too. Sometimes I go all out and I do every single door. That includes doors to rooms, doors to closets and then um, bathroom cabinets and things like that. A lot of times I try to do the bathroom cabinets when I'm cleaning the bathrooms so that when this task rolls around, I'm not having to do the bathrooms. But like I said, I just take it case by case basis and then sometimes I just go around and look at the doors and decide if I wanna clean them or not. This task is just to clean the back porch and this can be an array of things. A lot of times when it is the winter time it doesn't get too messy out here. One because we don't really come out here and two because there's not like pollen and stuff all in the air that can get on the floor. But it is springtime so the pollen is really bad so I come out here and I vacuum and I mop the tile floor and then I clean off the table and you can see the black railings in the background. I wipe those down because those get dirt and stuff, especially when it rains, it splatters dirt and mud all over those. And I get down on my hands and knees and clean the floor base part of that as well. Um, so it just do a really good clean once a month on the porch so dirt and stuff is not getting collected and then we're sitting out there. Sometimes I even take the cushions and I clean the cushions of the couch. They're unzippable, unzippable. You can unzip them and wash them, so I do that too sometimes. I didn't do that this time, but I'm just letting you guys know some of the things that I do um, out here on the porch. Sometimes you just gotta clean your cleaners, right guys? So once a month I clean out our Dyson handheld and also our Dyson regular vacuum. I can't remember which one it is, the animal I think. And I just clean out the canister. We have a dog and three kids, so these canisters can get very, very dirty, especially with dog hair, and they tend to smell really bad, so cleaning them out and rinsing them out really helps. And um, also the filter, you can see I take the filter out and rinse that. It takes a long time to rinse because you want to rinse and squeeze until you don't see any dirty water coming out. And so there was a lot of dirty water coming out of that filter. And then our filter and the other vacuum as well. And then you have to let those dry for a while. So I make sure I have all the vacuuming done for the day because they have to usually dry overnight when I do this. But it just really helps with the smell, like I said, to keep the vacuums clean and then sometimes after you've cleaned your filter a few times like maybe after two or three months I'll just get a whole new filter for it. What's that?
So bring your A game, cause you know this party won't stop. We could never run out of time, sipping strawberry lime, you know I wanna share it with you. Bass is going boom, boom. Yeah. If you're looking for some class, So this monthly task has kind of evolved with each house, but basically what I write down is clean the blinds. And fun fact, we don't have any blinds in our house. The only blinds we have are in our office and they're always tied up. We don't ever pull them up and down. So basically I just take this duster and I go around and I wipe the window sills. There's a different monthly task where I actually clean the windows with like Windex or whatever. But um, I like to go around and just make sure um, the window sills and stuff are not dusty. But in other homes where I've had blinds, I'll pull the blinds down and wipe because dust can get really stuck in those blinds, especially if you use them every day. So um, that's what I used to do at the other houses. But like I said, we have no blinds. We only have curtains in our house here. The next one I actually do every three months, but it just so happened that I had to do it this last month and that's to change our air filters. A lot of times you forget to change your air filters because you don't have to do it very often, but that's why I write it down with my monthly tasks, and I just write down the months that I actually do it. Like I said, I do it every three months. Um, this is kind of funny because one of the latches is broken on this air filter thing, and so it's really hard for me to get it back in because I'm like just tall enough to reach but it's broken so you have to be able to like push it up a little higher so you can see I have to call Chris to the rescue. So here is another task that I have to do multiple times a month, sometimes depending on what month it is. If we're having guests over, I usually do like a quick vacuum of the couch just because River puts his hair all over the couch or the kids have spilled something. Um, but basically once a month I go in, I do a very deep clean of the vacuum with that attachment and then I use the hose attachment again and get in like the corners and the creases and I clean all the pillows and everything and then I get Clorox wipes and I wipe off any spots so like juice spots or dog licking spots it sounds nasty but I'm telling you it happens 
Um, I like these like microfiber couches because they're really durable in that you can wipe things down and they'll come off pretty easily on the couch. And then we also have a couch upstairs in the playroom that I clean as well. I don't clean that one as often so I usually only do that one once a month because we usually don't have many guests up there but um, giving this couch a really really good clean and you can see Piper is helping. So here I am doing the windows. I just take a Windex, or this is the Method glass cleaner, and a microfiber cloth, and I just clean all of the windows. If you guys have seen my house before, we have a ton of windows, so this actually takes a very long time. And not only do we do the windows, but I also do all the mirrors. And that's not the mirrors in the bathrooms, because I do those once a week when I clean the bathrooms, but mirrors that I have like around the house, like full-length mirrors, or mirrors that are hung up on the wall. I do those as well once a month. And then I also do only the outsides of the windows of doors. Um, so I don't like go out to the side yard because we have screens and I don't clean those. So basically I'm just cleaning all of the inside windows and then a few of the doors that have glass, our front door and our back door are glass. So I clean both sides of those. I actually didn't film me doing all of the windows so you don't even see me like going into the kids rooms or our room or anything but believe me there are a lot of windows to be cleaned in this house so like I said this task takes a very long time. The very last task that I have is to clean the baseboards. This is the one that I hate the most so once a month I do or I switch on upstairs baseboards one month and then downstairs baseboards the next month. And that is it. I hope that you guys got some good ideas for monthly tasks for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your love and support. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.